what happens if you put AC voltage through a DC voltage system on a car? Well, we're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Bosch Automotive Service Solutions, a globally trusted partner for all workshop needs. Visit BoschDiagnostics.com for more information. For more than the past 40 years, automotive vehicles have been designed to work off 12 volts DC, except for one component, the alternator. The alternator generates AC voltage, and then it's converted into DC voltage through the alternator, the regulator, or other components. So what happens if a little of that AC current leaks out of the system? In most systems, there's a 0.2 to 0.5 volts of AC ripple or current going through the system. Most of this ripple is absorbed by the battery and doesn't make it to the networks or the modules. Some cases, well, you could have a malfunctioning alternator. When this happens and the voltage starts to creep up and up, this AC voltage will find its way onto the networks for the serial data, CAN bus included, or even into the modules. This will cause communication errors and malfunctions in the system. So how do you detect DC ripple? You can see this with either a multimeter set to the AC voltage. You could do it with a scope that has AC filtering or AC coupling that can filter out the DC current and just look at the AC current in the system. But once it reaches a certain point and that AC ripple gets higher and higher, it can damage modules. What's the fix? The fix is to replace the alternator and also diagnose the rest of the system. This means looking at the ECU to make sure it's functioning properly and controlling the alternator in the right way. Also looking at other modules or power modules that are connected to the battery. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.